is such a beautiful day to feel beautiful. Welcome back to Magna Talks Beauty with me, Sailor Money or Gamat. Um, and today we have a very, very beautiful guest, Fauzia. Hi. Hello. Hi, hi, How hi. are you, girl? I'm so good. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Um, it's our first time meeting. Hey. Um, it's kind I of like a wait. first day. Your nails are so cute. Thank you. I literally just had my birthday, so these are my birthday nails. <gasps> Happy birthday. I love your nails. Thank you. Love everything. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, do you have some nails on right now? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, slay. I know. Day, another slay. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, folks, yeah, um, a little bit of introduction from you would be nice because from what I know, I know that you are a very talented singer and musician, songwriter. Girl, you got a track with John Legend. What? And you're you were born in Morocco? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So my name is Fozia. Um, I'm 21 years old and I'm from Morocco originally. Immigrated to Canada when I was one. And I've just like grew up in a super Moroccan household, but also got to experience the Canadian culture in school and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And music has always been a part of my life. I've always just been in love with singing, writing, playing instruments, everything, making videos, like literally anything creative. And now I get to do that as my job, which is the dream. So yeah. that's yeah. So cool. <laughs> Thank you. I've been living the dream from like a very young age. How did you even manage to be in the music industry since so young? Um, it kind of all happened very naturally when I turned like 15, 16, 17. I started posting more covers and stuff on YouTube, posting my original music too, performing. Um, and when I was around 16, 17, I signed to a booking agency. So mm -hmm. the people that like booked my shows and all of that. And then when I turned 17, we started talking to labels and labels, you know, gained interest in me. And right signed to Atlantic and it was just like or APG under Atlantic but now fully Atlantic um, and it's just been so natural like a very natural gradual progression um, ever since I got out of high school it was like a week before my 18th birthday that I signed so I was 17 technically but just turned 18. <laughs> Wow, so it's kind of like your 18th birthday present for yourself. No, literally, literally. <laughs> it was funny because I had to sign with my parents the first contract. And then a week later, I had to re-sign as an adult. I was like, why did, we, why did we do this? Like, why didn't we just wait a week or something? <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's that's so interesting. Oh my gosh. But um, it's, it's so cool that you started like really young. But then again, I feel like 18 is like, still young did you feel like you're literally an adult when you signed that paper when like uh you were 18 I, like i felt it was so weird because back then i felt like so much more of an adult than i do now um i was like yeah like my life is figured out like let's okay. go and now i'm like now i'm like what's going on i'm literally five years old i don't know what's happening as, oh my I, God, grow older, as I grow older i'm like i don't know anything i actually don't know anything i don't know what i'm doing but we're figuring it out. Um, yeah. But yeah, 18 is really young. It's, yeah. it's like a baby. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is literally like infant age. I remember uh, yesterday I was just having this conversation as well. Why, why is it when I turned 20, I felt like such an adult? But now I'm kind of like almost 30. I'm like, I'm a child. I need child support. You know, like no. I need my parents. Right? No, literally. Literally, I'm starting to feel more and more that way as I grow older. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, I'm like, do you know what you're doing? Do you know what you're doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Like, what's going on, you know? I'm like, oh, guess I'll just write another song. Guess I can kind of yes. I can kind of do that. So I'll just keep doing that. I don't know. Yes, period. At least I know how to make songs now, so that's what I do. <laughs> I'm like, don't ask me to do anything else. Just ask me to sing, please, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. Um, anyway, see, so, yeah, I'm talking about singing. Um, I know that you have a very recent, I think it's today, the day of the shoot right now. It just came out, right? R.I.P. Love. 
It's coming out in like 30 minutes. <gasps> what? That's crazy. Yes. Oh my God. Do you want right to talk about like what's that all about? Because I know when I look at your um, page on Spotify or like any other music platforms, it's under like one album with Poppet as well, like your other single. Mm-hmm. So is, that, is there like a similar theme with Poppet as well? Um. So it's kind of very confident like puppet like i feel like i kind of have a mix of ballads and then very mm-hmm. confident more up tempo music and it's kind of more in the puppet world um but puppet is a lot more like pop leaning and then r.i.p mm-hmm. love has a lot more arabic influences which i'm very excited mm-hmm. about i'm excited that there's kind of they're all connected but they all have their own vibe in a way you know right right oh my god i can't wait to listen to it after this is over me uh, i hope you like it yeah it's morning here uh so i feel like it's gonna be my like day anthem i'm gonna listen yeah, to it while i work and stuff so yeah it's pretty cute it's gonna be a cute day because of your song r.i.p love there oh, gonna be a music video it. as well for it what sorry uh is there gonna be a music video for it as well um hopefully down the line like right now there isn't um but i can kind of like already envision what i want if they're ever if we ever shoot one for the song like i feel like Mm -hmm. it's i'm starting to think of ideas we don't have anything yet but stay tuned you never know you never know with music you really never know oh that's true yeah oh my god well i can't wait to see if you are going to have a music video but i have to listen to the song first and i'm so excited because like i have a influence and oh my god okay i'm rock and queen thank um, you. So, like, <laughs> thank okay <you. laughs> so next up i want to know uh, how you feel about being a uh, this is gonna be like so cliche but like being a woman in a tough industry how I feel the music industry is pretty tough, huh? And like being um, in the industry from like so young, how do you stay true to your own voice? How did you find your voice in in, in music and in your life? Yeah, it is a very tough industry, um, especially for young women. Um, thankfully, I feel like I'm surrounded by really great people. My family was very is was and still is very involved with me they make sure that i'm doing okay and like they're there for support if i'm ever feeling down because there's a lot of ups and downs and like you know it's hard in itself and then you're also i'm also just like a girl like a young girl trying to figure out life and all these things at the same time Mm -hmm. um and you know there's lots of people that are gonna want to take advantage of you that are gonna want to just like everybody wants something from you, you know, but with my team and with my family, I feel like I got really lucky. And I feel like I've also learned to kind of navigate my way and realize when somebody is not look that somebody doesn't have the best intentions, Mm -hmm. but it takes time and it takes time to figure that out and to kind of feel that like vibe from people and to understand it more. Um, But like, it's, I'm still figuring it out. And I hope that down the line one day, there are more women in music, especially behind the scenes. Like, I think it's it's starting to get that way. But, like, I hope there's more female producers, female writers, female a and people. And, like, what I love is, you know, there are lots of women on my team. And that's what makes me feel safe in a way, too. Like, love mm-hmm. all the men on my team. But, like, the women, mm-hmm. I just connect with them on that level, you know? And it's... It's special. And I think that as we continue to grow in this world, I hope there are more women that can uplift other women artists, you know? Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. I do agree, though. I feel like we've been seeing a lot of women, a lot of girls as well now on, you know, on screen or like on billboards and media, but we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. And I feel like that's when the real change, I guess, would kind of like feel like to its full effect when women are also working behind the scenes, which yeah. is very, very cool. Um, talking about <laughs> working behind the scenes, um, all the songs that you've written so far, um, do you think there's like always going to be a special meaning behind every song that you write? Um, I try to keep a special meaning, but like sometimes the meaning is just 
either just like a feeling, a vibe, or just a mm. song that's fun to listen to and that makes you feel good. And like, even if there's not a deeper meaning behind it, I always just want people to enjoy listening to mm. it. Um, but I think that most of the music I write has a deeper meaning or has a story behind it or something like that, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like with Puppet, I get kind of like a party vibe. And um, I don't know what I'll get with um, R.I.P. Love. Hopefully it's kind of like a dancey vibe. It is it is like it's like a it is a dancey vibe, but it's kind of like whimsical and dark. Ooh, and like, ooh what? <laughs> okay. Kind of like you're, you're like dancing in the moonlight type of ooh. song. But then Puppet's like, I was born to dance. dance. Yeah. <laughs> like lights. <laughs> Splash, 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 splash. Right. Like, that's the puppet. And then R.I.P. Love is more subdued, but still you can dance to it. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll dance to it on TikTok. I don't know if you're going to dance on TikTok to your song, but maybe I'll start. I don't know, You girl. know what? You know what? I've been trying to, like, learn the dance because, like, there's there are a few dances made to R.I.P. Love. And they're so good. Like, everyone is so talented. I'm like, you guys made it so hard. I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, I can't do it. I'm just going to look so stupid. But I'm like enjoying, I'm enjoying every single video. I'm like, you go, girl, or you go. Like, yeah. just, I'll leave that to you. I'll do the singing. You do the dancing. Okay, cool. So we're all basically like going to be your backup dancers. That's cool. That's the Literally. Joke. Thank you. I'm waiting for uh, my offer to be a backup dancer for Vosia right now. Thank you so much. Um, Here it is. You're offered. Let's go. Let's do it. Yes, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, earlier, you mentioned about making music that makes people feel good, makes you feel good. And I think it has a lot about like, also, uh, when you feel good, you gain this like confidence, like you become, you know, like very <laughs> aware, but like you, you have a positive mindset of yourself of like, yeah. being able to do anything that you want right so i was i'm wondering where does your self-confidence come from um i'm trying that's to figure that out i'm trying to figure it out day by day you know i'm trying to gain that confidence um mm -hmm. in different places like music is a big one of them um whenever i put on a good song i feel good you know and mm -hmm. it makes me feel more confident. And I think just like also telling myself like, you are a good, you're on the right track. Like you're, yeah. you're doing, you're doing well. Cause like sometimes I'm just so focused on like, you know, what's next, what's next, what's next? Mm -hmm. Am I doing enough? Am I accomplishing enough? All of these things. And it starts to wear me down and I start to think very negatively. And I, and whenever I'm like, you know what, like, you're doing okay. Like, good job. Mm -hmm. Sometimes okay. just telling myself good job, writing down, you know, things that I've done that I'm happy about or that, you know, I feel accomplished about. And so just those reminders, reminding myself, like, you're mm -hmm. good. You're good. You know? Yeah. Like, be your own hype man, right? Literally. Because, like, I, my family, my friends, I love hyping them up. I love letting them know that yeah. They are amazing. And I'm like, I always forget to do that to myself. And so mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like, do that to yourself too. Cause like you should be your own friend as cheesy as it sounds. Yeah. I love that. I love uh, how we're all our own hype men, our own friend, our own uh, manager, our own creative director, <laughs> our own uh, lyricist, everything. You know, everything. You gotta be there for yourself first. That's amazing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So if you're not, I, I heard uh, earlier that you like to write things, like things on your mind or like to hype yourself up. Do you journal, girl? I don't journal, but like, I feel like my music is like just this public diary where it's like, okay, it's like journaled and also sent into the world. Everybody read it. Like, <laughs> let's go. Everybody <laughs> take a look. Like, oh and my let's tell it right now. No, it's like literally before I even read it, I'm like, okay, everyone can read it now. Read what's on my mind, you know? Yeah, but I guess All that's that also like, yeah, I think it's also why like your fans love you because you're like super honest in your songs and um, always bringing the good vibes. You know how it tastes, babes. Thank you. Yeah. so much. <laughs> okay, okay, then oh, one last question for me. Yes. So, um, how 
would you want to empower other girls or other people who want to be, you know, their true self and keep doing what they want to do like you are, like you're actually doing music, you're living your dream. Um, do you have any words for other people out there or our audience right here on, you know, just um, be inspired or motivated in mm -hmm. doing what they want? It takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of time to just appreciate yourself. But like truly, once you start appreciating yourself, you'll start to feel the world click around you. Like I feel like whenever I've had a negative mindset, I start to see those things. And I think you see what you think. And so once you start thinking more positively, you'll start seeing more positive things. Like if I if I just think, you know, today's going to be a good day, there's a higher chance of that happening. And so starting with that, you know, waking up, telling yourself it's going to be a good day, no matter what, um, smiling at people, you know, just showing love, just whenever you give love, I just know that like it comes back. It's like this cycle. And so always trying to be the best version of yourself, whatever that is. And don't be too hard on yourself. I'm like the mm -hmm. first person to be hard on myself. And so that's why I like to tell people not to do it because I know how detrimental that can be. And so just continuing to love and support yourself and do things that make you happy. Like if you like playing sports, like go play a sport. If you like to listen to music, listen to music, whatever it is, that thing in your week that you can look forward to, um, to keep you energized and to keep you confident. Right. Okay. That's cool. I just realized that um, we still have a little bit more time. So I kind of want to get closer and personal to Fosia a little bit. Is that okay? Okay. Let's go. All right. Let's go. So in your free time, when you're not writing, when you're not singing, when you're not um, freaking um, on a piano with John Legend, what is your favorite pastime activity? Maybe like, like because the pandemic is here. So like, what do you do at home? I love to play video games with my friends or my family. Um, I like to watch like very chill, like either I like to dive into different animes or like watch like Disney movies. I love Disney. Yes. Movies. I love anime um, shows. I just finished one called To Your Eternity. Mm -hmm. It was a little dark. Um, it was new for me. It was like a little darker for me, but I really enjoyed it. Okay. Kind of left me hanging. If anyone here is watching, like that, watch that show. You know what I'm talking about. Just kind of gives you, leaves you on a cliffhanger. Um, oh and I like to cook. I like to Ooh. go on walks and just like really long walks uh, at sunset. I love going at, on walks at sunset specifically and just watching the sunset. It's very beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. I love reading. Just like very simple, sim simple things. Simple activities. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of anime, have you watched Bell? I haven't. Is it good? It's going to be the best two hours of your life. It's like, called what? It's called Bell. B L L E. Bell? Yeah, it's like it's an anime on Netflix. I watched okay. it with my cousin the other day. Our minds were freaking blown. It was so beautiful. And I think you would appreciate it. I feel like you remind me a lot of Belle. And also, <laughs> it's like, it's very like meta as well. Have you watched um, uh, Black Mirror? I haven't. I was, at the time, I was oh too God. scared. For some reason, oh. I was too scared to watch Black Mirror. I don't know why. Right. Somebody was like, in the first episode, like, somebody's a pig. Or I don't even know what it was. And I was like, oh. <laughs> what? I don't even know what they said. It was something about a pig and I don't remember. And I was like, I'm not going to watch it. But like, okay. now that I'm like a couple years older and more mature, I'll be like, maybe yeah. I'll dive into it. Mm -hmm. But I'll yeah, watch, the, like I'll watch Bill first. Yeah, Bell. It's Bell. B-E-L-L-E. Yes. B-E-L-L-E. Bell. Yeah. If you love anime and you love video games and you love like technology and like, you know, stuff yeah. like that, I think you would love it. It's very heartwarming as well. What's your favorite anime so far that you've watched in your life? <laughs> okay. Spirit away. away. <laughs> oh my God. Yo. No face. Love yes. That. It's like it holds a special place in my heart. I watched it when I was really young and I've been obsessed with it ever since. I wanted okay. to be Chihiro. 
so I was like, she's so cool and she's so powerful and so confident. And she like saved her family. I was like, I want to do yeah. that. She literally saved her family. Oh my God. Cute. They were literally piggies okay. and then saved them. Yeah, that's true. But anyways, um, you mentioned also about cooking. So since you're since you're Moroccan, well, you're Moroccan, right? You were born in Morocco. Yeah. Immigrated yes. to Canada when you were one. So I'm wondering if you have your favorite, or you could make or cook your like favorite um, Moroccan dish. Oh, my favorite Moroccan dish. I, there's like this like chicken and carrot and lemon tagine that I love to make. Um, obviously, couscous is a classic. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's like pastela that I don't know how to make, but I know lots of people love that. I like the chicken one. I haven't had it in a long time though. Um, there's also this like pastry. It's called msimmen, and it's so good, but also so bad for you. Um, and you can oh. like, put, like it's just like very like you put like butter and sugar and like it's so delicious, but mm. sinful. Not the best for your insides, you know, <laughs> um, but it's delicious. And I want to learn how to make that next. Yeah. So you're going to be like, this is delicious. There's a little bit of secret. You can only have it once a year. No, I mean, I, people definitely have it more than that, but like, it's so good. You just can't help yourself, you know? Yeah. It's, it's like cookies, right? Basically. It's like, it's like, like a lot of butter. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Since we have, since we still have more time, I want to play um, this game called "Would You Rather." Um, okay. So, on the top of my head, on the top of your head, pick one. Okay. Okay. Would you rather be stuck in the studio for a whole month or have to perform every day for a whole month? <laughs> I've literally been stuck in the studio for a whole month. Um, <laughs> oh I'm not even joking. This entire month, just in the studio. <laughs> I'm going to go with the studio because I feel like I know that better for now. Okay. I haven't performed for a whole month yet. So I think that'd be really scary. When was your last performance? Like live? Performance was in November, I believe. Well, it's been a while, huh? Yeah, it's been a while. And like, I've never done a full month straight of just like touring. So I'd be like mm-hmm. scared to do that. So I'm going to go with studio. Okay. So studio it is. All right. Yeah. Second question. <clears throat> Would you rather mm-hmm. write write songs for other people and and have your songs sung by them, mm-hmm. or always sing songs that were not written by you? Oh, <laughs> um, I think I would just have other people sing my songs. Oh, because it's Why really hard for me to connect, like if somebody sends a song and I don't write on it or anything, like it's hard for me to connect to it. So I think it would just not be genuine. And so I think I'd rather just write music and just give it to somebody else to sing. Okay. So she's a songwriter officially. Sometimes all the time. All (laughs) All the time. (laughs) Sometimes all the time. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. I mean, being stuck in the studio for a month. Oh my God. I would die. Like, I it's care. a lot. I'm like thinking of concepts. I'm like, have we tried this? <laughs> and it's like, right. oh yeah, you already wrote that 300 songs ago. I'm like, okay, let's try again. 300 songs ago. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of songs, huh? Not even She exactly. works hard. Yeah, she works hard. I try. I try my best. Okay. So the last, would you rather? Mm-hmm. Would you rather? Listen to Puppet from day to night on repeat, nonstop, or would you rather listen to R.I.P. Love <laughs> nonstop all day on repeat? I'm going to go with R.I.P. Love because it's newer than Puppet. Like, I wrote Puppet, like, three years ago, and R.I.P. Love, mm-hmm. I didn't even write even a year ago. So I'm not as, I'm not sick of it, but, like, I haven't heard it as much. So I think it, would, it wouldn't drive me as crazy if I heard Puppet, you know, right. than if I heard Puppet. So I'm going to go with R.I.P. Love. Okay, love that. Oh my god. Okay, so right, thank you. That. RIP love it. Um, <laughs> basically, that is it for me. I have been having such a blast um, talking with you today, Fosia. Um, how are you feeling? I feel so good. It was so amazing talking to you, seeing your beautiful smile. Thank you so much for having me. 
Thank you, girl. I love seeing your beautiful smile too. Oh, no. Are we friends or something? Are we friends? I'll follow are you. On we friends? <laughs> are, are we? we are we nail friends? Are we nail friends? Oh my god, we should it. have like a nail art date someday when we're in Please. the same place. I guess. Yeah. Please, let's you're, do it. Let's do it. Or maybe you'll, you'll fly to Bali and we'll have, I'll arrange the date, the nail date, you know. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, thank you so much, Fuzzy. I feel like our, um, I've been really inspired to um, still be myself and like be cool and calm and collected as you are as you and do. doing music. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like maybe I should do music. I don't know. Do something wild, that- right? Why not? Like, if that's what you love, go ahead. Sing your heart out, play instruments, whatever it is. Do it. Yeah, that's true. Wait, I forgot to ask. What instruments do you play? I play the piano, the guitar, the violin. The violin? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, riff. Okay, run. All right. Okay, sing it. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> We get it, you're a singer. Anyways, let me Whatever. close this up. It has been really fun talking to you today, and I hope like the Makritox beauty uh, viewers are also enjoying this talk as I obviously did. So um, I guess this is goodbye for now, but keep on rocking the world with your songs, and I really can't wait till our R.I.P. Love is out so I can listen to it and watch all the TikTok dances. And um, I hope you stay healthy and safe. And also for the Muffin Talks Beauty viewers, I hope you also stay healthy and safe and thriving and surviving and doing all these uh, fabulous things. I'm Gamat and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye.